Okay, my name is Fernando Villarreal. I'm on the board of the Conservation Society, and I, um, various committees, I was whatever they, I'm on the building and educational grants, I'm helping Leticia decorate the Steve's home, and of course, we're not having one this year, but our annual Christmas party at the Steve's home, uh, one of the popular items at that event has been the eggnog. So, I've been doing the egg now, I want to say about 15, 20 years, maybe a little bit longer helping Jerry Young when she used to do this. And, that, and she's the one that I got the recipe from and, and, in, and I'm not sure where she got it from, the, the, uh, whoever she had replaced back, back when. Uh, and that recipe has been passed on. It's a very simple recipe. We're not going to get into eggs today or, or, or heating up milk and stuff like that. This is a quick and easy and very good. I know most of y'all have had more than one cup of this in the past. So, in case you didn't know, these are the ingredients that go into it. So that makes one bowl. If you've seen the punch bowl that's been that little side house, it's a whole gallon of Borden's eggnog. And it really needs to be these particular brands because I've tried mixing and matching other items and it just doesn't taste the same. You can experiment if you want and, and maybe in smaller quantities, but Basically, this is one large punch bowl, which renders about 36 to 40 servings, five, five six ounce servings. So it's Bluebell homemade vanilla, Borden's, one gallon, these are four quarts, and a fifth of Jim Bean, which is 750 milliliters, which is about 25 ounces, and a little splash of nutmeg. So this is what we're going to make here. We're going to have a little party here later. And, and I know most of you are probably not going to have 40, 50 people at your home this holiday. So here's a smaller version. So I broke it down into an eighth of what all that is. And, and it saves you a lot of money because this is about 50 bucks worth. This is a lot less. Borns also makes a little pint size um, uh, eggnog. And of course the uh, Blue Bell ice cream also comes in a pint size. And then you can get these at the little liquor store, the little this is about one and one and a half ounces of uh, Jim Bean. Two of those would be perfect for this combination. So you, if you're going to make a smaller serving, so this makes about four to six, depends on how much you want to drown. So this is we'll do it, and we'll send the recipe out to you in the quantities. You don't want to put the whole ice cream one, but half of this one, half of this, put the rest of this, and that will make you a nice batch equivalent to what the large size is. So I guess I'm going to need a spoon here. Okay, oh, this needs to soften up, and I think it already did on the drive down here, so, so it's coming out this. pretty easy. This may be quicker than I thought. How easy was that? Now comes the mixing part, and uh, You can smell the alcohol in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Off the set. Now that it's melted, you know, a few chunks is okay. It'll keep it nice and cool while it's sitting out there. Again, you probably have a much nicer ladle and serving spoon and so forth at home. We left the price tag on this so we can take it back. Serving there, and on the other side. And then the, the, the nutmeg is optional, it, it's just not too much, but it really is kind of overpowering. And that's up to your liking, more or less, or none at all. And if you're going to do these smaller versions, you may want to try the, the rum, the dark rum as well. Pick something else. It's a, it's a good way to experiment. You can make four cups and use different uh, uh, different types of liquors in there. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. Holiday season has officially begun. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. That was good.